Hi, Julie here, and I want to show you how to bring your jump bar back to your Model Driven app views or grids. So I just provisioned this demo tenant, it's brand new as of yesterday, and you'll see here at the bottom of my grid, I have this alphabet to select from to jump to records where that letter is. But then we look in my environment where I have enabled the preview features and you'll see that that is gone. And I don't know about you, but I rely on that quite often and was quite unhappy to see that it was gone. So let's go in and turn it back on and I'll show you how to find that. So first thing you'd think to do to change that entity definition is to go to your solution and change that. So we've got here my fundraiser solution. I'm looking here at the donation table and I want to change one of the settings. It's not available here in the setting. I can assure you that none of these have what I need. Okay, that's fine. Let's switch to classic and have a look. Well, it's not here either because what I need is this control tab that's not there. So we have to go full on old school. So let's go here to this gear and go to advanced settings. Under settings, we should choose customizations. Then we go to customize the system. And then we locate our entity. And we are looking for the donation. And we see that I have under my entity table definition, other options. So we're going to add control. We are looking for the power apps grid. We're going to add that. Then we need to edit the jump bar and we want to enable it. We will say, okay, we will save and publish everything. And I'll see you in just a minute to show you the results. So here we are, I came back. I went ahead and enabled these things for the application so that we can see them and interact with those jump bars. And now you'll see that here we are in the model driven app where we have the jump bar available. The old app does not have it. Let's refresh our screen and we've got this jump bar available for us now.